Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make that perfect, crispy, tender and juicy pork belly in the Weber kettle. Now, preparation is absolute key to nailing that perfect crackling on a pork belly. And you can actually get your butcher to do some of the hard work for you. So if you've got a good relationship with your butcher, order it two to three days ahead, see if they can hang it in their cool room uncovered for two to three days. That's gonna really draw the moisture out of it and it's gonna give you a good head start to nailing that perfect pork belly. Now make sure you stay tuned throughout the video because there's so many tips and tricks to nailing the perfect pork belly and I don't want you to miss them. So we're gonna start by treating this one as if we bought it from the supermarket. The supermarket ones tend to be vac sealed and there's a lot of moisture in the packaging, which essentially just ruins your crackling. So we wanna pretend that we've bought this from the supermarket, we've just opened it up. The first thing you wanna do is pat the skin dry with some paper towel. You wanna get rid of as much moisture as possible. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a jacquard, or if you've got something like a, a sharp sort of fork or a corn cob holder, something sharp. This is just basically a set of retractable needles we're gonna pierce the skin of the pork belly and that's gonna really help draw the moisture out that's laying underneath the skin. So we'll go ahead and we'll hit it with the jacquard. So I don't know if you can pick that up too well on the camera, but what we've done is we've created a bunch of little holes in the pork belly for moisture to escape out of from under the skin. And how we're gonna draw that moisture out is we're gonna create a boat around the pork belly. So we're basically gonna wrap it in foil, but we're gonna leave that skin exposed and then we're gonna cover it in salt and leave it in the fridge overnight uncovered. And that's gonna draw all the moisture out. And that's gonna be one of the keys to getting that perfect crackling. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then we'll leave it in the fridge overnight and we'll come back tomorrow when we're ready to get it in the weather. All right, so that part's all done. Don't be afraid about over-salting the skin. We're gonna scrape it off just before we cook it. So now it's time to go into the fridge and we'll be back tomorrow when we're ready to get it on the weather. All right, so we're just about ready to cook this pork belly. It's been in the fridge overnight. So now we'll set the Weber up. So we're gonna be using two charcoal baskets today. And what I like to do so I know I've got the exact amount of fuel I want is I'll fill both charcoal baskets up and then I'll pour them into the chimney starter and then we'll get the chimney starter going from there. So we'll get started. All right, so we're gonna wait until these briquettes have ashed over and they're nice and red hot. Then we're gonna fill up both charcoal baskets, put the lid on and let that Weber really preheat. We're gonna be aiming for the Weber temperature to be around that 500 to 550 degree Fahrenheit or that 260 to 290 ish degrees Celsius. Now you can use lump charcoal or briquettes, whatever you're more comfortable using, go ahead and use that. So for now, these are just about ready. So in a minute, we'll get them in the charcoal baskets, put the lid on and then we'll get started on the pork belly. All right, so while that web is heating up, let's get started on the pork belly. So it's been in the fridge overnight. And as you can see, that salt's basically formed a crust on the outside. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna wipe that salt off of the skin, get it nice and clean, and we'll give it a very light coat in some olive oil, and then a very light salt over the top, and then it'll pretty much be ready to go on the Weber. And I'll show you why we're gonna use this apple in a minute. All right, so the pork belly is ready to go in and I'm gonna slice a cheek off this apple. And what we're gonna do is we're basically gonna put the pork belly on top of that. And that's just gonna raise the middle up. So any juices that could potentially pull up and cause the crackling not to crackle as well, are just gonna run off. So I'm gonna put that on the cooking grate and let's get the pork belly on. 
So we're going to put in a drip tray and then our cooking grate and our piece of apple and then the pork belly and now we'll shut the lid. All right, so we can just let that go now. We're gonna check it in about half an hour to 45 minutes. We're gonna have a peek through the vent holes just to see how that crackling's going. We don't wanna open the lid and drop that temperature. You need high indirect heat to build that crackling really well. And then I'll show you a bit later on what we're gonna do once we're happy with the crackling. So we'll come back soon. All right, so it's been about 30 minutes. I can see through the vent holes that it's crackling up really nice, but it looks like it might be getting a little bit too much heat on one side compared to the other. So we'll open it up, have a look, and I might give it a quick spin while we've got the lid open. Whew, so that's looking really good. As you can see, starting to get a bit of a darker color on that side. And there's just a tiny bit on the other side that just needs to form. So I might quickly give it a spin. We'll give it another five or 10 minutes, and then I'll show you what we'll do next. Right, it's been another 10 minutes. Let's have a closer look. All right, so our crackling is set beautifully, but the meat itself is still probably gonna be a little bit under and a little bit chewy. I like to take the meat internal to about that 185 Fahrenheit or 85 degrees Celsius. That allows the meat to break down a bit more, the fat to render down, and it's gonna have a beautiful texture. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take the belly out and we're gonna put it in a foil tray or a cooking tray if you've got one. And we're gonna fill that tray up with liquid to just below where the crackling is. We're gonna use some apple cider vinegar, but if you've got some chicken stock or another liquid, go ahead and use that. It's not really gonna impart much flavor. It's just to more protect the meat and that foil tray is gonna stop that crackling from oversetting or burning or anything else. So what we'll do now, we'll get that pork belly out and into the tray. All right, so in goes the pork belly, some apple cider vinegar. All right, so that's up to the lowest part of the crackling there. So now we'll get it back in the Weber and we'll take it to that internal temperature that we spoke about before. So as you can see on our instant read, we still had quite a ways to go to get to our target internal temperature. If we were to cut it open now, it would be chewy and underdone. We don't want that. So now's the time if you've got a thermometer, chuck your probe in, and like I said, we'll take it to that 185 degrees Fahrenheit or that 85 degrees Celsius, and we'll come back a bit later on once we've hit that temperature. All right, so it's been about 45 minutes. I've just had a check of that internal temperature and we've actually overshot a little bit. We're sitting at about that 195 Fahrenheit or 90 degrees Celsius. That's fine, don't stress too much. Just means it's gonna be a little bit more tender. It's still gonna be awesome and juicy. So what we're gonna do now is get it out of that tray. We're gonna let it rest at room temperature for about 15 to 20 minutes. And then we're gonna slice it up. Can't wait to see how this tastes and looks. So we'll come back soon. All right, so the pork belly's had a nice little rest. Time to slice a couple of bits off and taste. All right, this looks and smells amazing. That crackling is perfect. Let's have a taste. Mm. That is unbelievable. It's one of the best pork bellies I've done that is just so tender. The crackling is perfect. Great flavor. You can't beat that. That's, that's magic. So if you've enjoyed the video, do 
do us a favor, drop a comment if you liked it, share it around if you want to see someone else nail that perfect pork belly, and um, yeah, give the video a like, a heart, make sure you try it yourself, and we'll see you next time. Cheers.